uh, you ever tell the audience about the first time you ever cast? Half of them know it, I'm sure. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. You gotta they say know the story. It's a great story. Great story. Great story. I never heard the story. Okay. So, Give them the clip notes. So, yeah. Quick, quick story. Yeah. Quick story. Uh, in 1999, I turned pro to teach golf, and my brother in law said, You should play. And he gave me money to go play. So I started trying to play mini tours. Fast forward to March of 2000, the web.com comes through Lafayette where I live every year. And I decided to try to caddy. I had 102 fever. I did the Monday qualifier, didn't make it. Went out there on Tuesday and I said, hey, I, I like the caddy. They said, you gotta find the caddy master. I didn't know what a caddy master was, who he was. I was searching all over for this person. Finally, Grant Wade, dry, I mean, uh, uh, Kinley Jones, a friend of mine drove by in a golf cart with Grant Wade and I asked Kinley, I said, hey, do you know where the caddy master is? He said, why? I said, well, I want a caddy. He goes, well, here, meet Grant Wade. So Grant Wade said, hey, you know, look, I'll hire you for 500 bucks for the week. I'll pay you five, seven, 10. I was like, what does that mean? And he explained it to me. And he said, let me go inside and change my shoes and we'll go play nine holes. And I said, today? And he said, yeah. I said, well, I can't caddy today, man. I got a fever. I can show up on Thursday, though. So, <laughs> so he decided to uh, keep me for some weird reason. He didn't fire me on the spot. He said, okay, well, can you come watch me putt a little bit tomorrow? So I said, sure. So I go watch him putt a little bit on Wednesday, feeling a little better. So Thursday rolls around. I've never seen a guy swing. Obviously, those of you who know, he's got a pure action. You know, He's striping it. I'm like, wow. Well, meanwhile, on Tuesday, he had gotten someone else to carry his clubs on the front nine. He had never seen the back nine. So we're starting on 10. So we get up to the 10th tee. They're about to announce us here any minute. And he says, hey, Ted, what's it to cover that bunker right there? And I replied, it's a two iron. <laughs> so, so he said, well, it might be a two iron for you, but I don't know how far you hit a two iron. I said, all right, man, that's cool. <laughs> I was just kind of hanging out, and he said, well, Ted, I go, yeah, man, what's up? He goes, well, how far is it? I said, oh, my bad. Uh, it's about 200. About 200. Okay. Ted, how far does it say it is to cover that bunker in your yardage book? I said, I don't have a yardage book. Said, you don't have a yardage book? I said, what do I need a yardage book for? You're the pro. <laughs> and I play in the mini tour events. I had a few little caddies. They didn't carry my yardage book. I carried the yardage book. I'm like, what the heck, you know? I knew how to read one, but I didn't have one. So he's like, you got to get a yardage book. I said, where do I get a yardage book from? So I sprinted to the pro shop. I know the pros because that was where I was playing out of. Come back with the yardage book. And I open it up, and it's, I tell him, it's 203 to cover. Now on the tee, Grant Wade. And they, he pulls out a two iron. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> about 200. And a two iron. So he birdies that hole. He birdies the next hole. He's never seen, uh, well, he birdies, sorry, he birdies that hole, makes par, birdies the next hole. So, he, so he's 200 through three. And he's never seen the 13th hole. Well, at the time in 2000, the 13th hole, it, the name of the hole is actually Gator's Jaw. It's the hardest hole in the web.com tour every year. Like It was like, averaging like 4.7 or something stupid, right? So he, uh, he asked me, he said, what's this hole? I said, this is the hardest hole in the nationwide. <laughs> <laughs> it averages about 4.7. <laughs> don't hit it in the water, and then you go left, and oh, man, wait to see this green. It's the three <laughs> I mean, I just pretty much, whatever you're not supposed to say, I did it. And he's, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I said, what, man? You asked me what this hole was. And he said, listen, no hole's hard if you execute. And every hole's hard if you don't. And I was like, no hole's what? <laughs> That's what I'm here for, to learn, buddy. So, uh, so he hit three wood down the middle. He hit an eight iron to a foot, tapped it in for par. Then we go to the next hole, 14. Back then it was a par five. Driver five iron on the green, made eagle. And I said, hey, I, I got to go use the restroom. And I, I went in there and I called my wife. I said, what's 10% of 90,000? <laughs> <laughs> So the end of the story is, uh, Grant was asking me what I was doing. I told him I was playing mini tours. He helped me with my swing. He was super nice to me. I'd never been on time a day in my life. That Sunday, he asked me to be there an hour early. I said, look, this guy's been so kind to me, helped me with my game, talked to me. I'm going to go ahead and get here an hour and 10 minutes early. So I walk in, and one of my friends who's always early, and I'm always late, is giving me a hard time. He says, you're late. I said, I'm not late. He's like, you're late. I said, dude, I'm here early. He said last night was daylight savings time. I said, I'm late. <laughs> so, so I walked sort of near the first tee, like, what's up, Grant? <laughs> and he's like, I was wondering if you were going to show up. And sure enough, he asked me to caddy. And uh, the, rest of the rest is history. I've been doing it since. And weirdest part is, is three months later, I was standing there 
toe to toe with Tiger Woods 2000 at uh, Canada when he hit the six iron out the bunker, and that was three months into caddy, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was a deer in headlights. Grant would have probably won by five that week if he'd have had somebody to do it. So that's, that's how it started.